In this tutorial, we're going to look at units and labels. So right now, my x data and my y data are just labeled the default, the x and the y. So if I wanted to rename this, save time or something like that, you just have to double click for that column. And here we have name. So we'll just do something like time and then a short name. Sometimes if your name is really long, acceleration tends to be a good one. Then there's not enough room here. And so you, it'll default to the short name. So we'll just do T for time. Here are my units. I'm going to do S for seconds. It has all sorts of options here. So if you wanted to do something like seconds squared, we could do something like that. And then you just click done. And now it's renamed this column here. And notice that it also renames it on the graph. So you only need to set it on your data, and then it'll reset it over here. We can do the same thing with Y. we will call this water view in milliliters. And you can tab in between these if you want to. Done. OK, and it's reset it here. And if you have them set that way, then all of your numbers here are going to be in the correct units. And notice the RMSC is also in milliliters. So you can also rename data set. So same thing, you can just double click on it right there and we can say water in a bucket. Okay, let's rename it here. But that does not rename the graph because you could have multiple sets of data on your graph. So to reset, to retitle the graph, double click on the top right there. This is the same thing. Notice the point symbols and connect points if you saw that tutorial earlier. So you don't necessarily have to click on the top. You can just click anywhere on the graph. So we'll call this rainwater, and then you click done, and now we have it, rainwater, water milliliters, and time in seconds.